working out. Brewski. Really? What's wrong? What's wrong, good guy? Thank you, Steve. Sorry about that, everyone. I really like to kind of trap them in the doorway and stand behind the doorway. Um, so it kind of funnels them through so that not all of them attack you at once. Next so time we find a bunch of rats, maybe we'll try that maybe right here. You see, they can't all get through the door at once. So that way, if you have a horde of enemies, it's really convenient to not take them to the um, Another cool thing about this game is it does have rejuvenating health. Your health does recover over time, as well as your mana. As you can kind of see in the top corner there, red is health. Oh, 15 mana, that's left. Um, the green is your experience bar, and the blue is your magic. Face, face, face. There you go. 10 rats remaining. Wow, oh, I took a lot of that. Ruby. Maybe I'll make a necklace or something. Mini rats. I don't think you can kill the mini rats. Just kind of the ambulance the whole thing. Alright, you ready to go, man? <laughs> Sorry, I have to have just the rust of the dagger. Not everyone can be as cool as you. I think the most I hit is like a four. <laughs> um, if you notice that some of the hit markers are in yellow, that just designates that it will take critical damage. We'll get more into that as they get more frequent, which they will throughout the game. Yeah, better stuff in our stats also help that. Completed the rock quest. Return to the tavern, receive a ward from Aelith as well as the key to the sewers. If you find a recall potion, use it by selecting a recall to start menu. This will take you back to the tavern. Use it again to return here. We're just gonna loot this place first and then we'll progress back to Aelith. Oop. Shield. Mine. Offers us one protection. I will take it considering our clothes provide us nothing, and as they probably shouldn't because I kind of look like a whore. But whatever, let us return to the tavern. Alright, and we'll talk to Aleth again. You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? Uh, no. No, don't think we did, unless he was a giant rat. He, he followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Wait, I thought the sewers were locked. How could he wander in the sewers if the sewers were locked? He's magical. Magical? Maybe he's seen Maybe really. he's a wizard. Oh, wizard. That would explain the hairdo. Don't worry, we've taken care of all the rats, he'd probably just get lost. I guess we'll go find him. Thank you. Uh, but before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. And, as promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. That's where I like to keep all my money. In my cleavage. If I had any cleavage, I really don't have much, but that seems to be where everyone keeps their money, and I'm kind of a little bit jealous. 
Anyway, I'll be careful. Thanks, Aelith. We get the sewer door key, which I don't understand how you would be in there without it. Um, 75 gold coins and 200 experience, which is nice. I don't think we leveled up though, which is kind of depressing. Wait, did we both get 75 coins? No, I think it's split it between the two of us because I only have 52. Yeah, and you have 65. Um, anyway, so I think that we're probably going to end this episode here since we're approaching the 20 minute mark. Um, go over here and see. I can't do that here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed our first ever Let's Play episode. I hope you all will join us next time. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this. And also the subscribe button so you can watch the next episode. Thanks everybody, we'll see you next time.